Okay, so let's start. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so for uh, for this first part of this uh, lecture today, we will um, focusing mainly on the feature engineering. So this is the the main topic that we will talk about uh, today and maybe the next time. And um, for today, I uh, choose this um, this example of uh, uh, roads and the streets and the urban fabric. So we can discuss it uh, together because some of these uh, features uh, rely on uh, on our uh, domain knowledge and uh, how we can uh, look at it. It's um... okay. So and before we start, I uh, I think uh, from my point of view, I like to to start from this um, from this uh, story of uh, of how Thales was able to uh, to measure the the height of um, of the pyramids maybe most of you know this uh, this story especially uh, in our group in uh, in uh, digital architectonic this was one of the interesting stories that we um, discuss it in with different points of view and uh, for me it's uh, it, it can abstract some important uh, uh, points and uh, mainly related to this idea of feature engineering. So the, 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 main, uh, the main story about Thales, a Greek philosopher, mathematician, and uh, um, um, uh, his idea about how to measure the, 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 the heights of the pyramids uh, was interesting. And uh, it's, um, I, I mainly summarize it into a you know, couple of uh, notes. So it's a start that uh, that this oh, just one moment yeah it's uh, mainly started that there is the the height of pyramid it's uh, something you cannot measure and it's uh, uh, unaccessible so you can't uh, find a grid tape and uh, and uh, and measure this uh, this height and uh, uh, he used a kind of a context he 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 chose that context of course in this context he couldn't uh, uh, build it from a to z but he chose a specific context uh, and the space and time to uh, do uh, his uh, proportional measurements and uh, this starts from a reference point and he used the sun as a reference point and he uh, uh, chose a, a specific moment. It's like that you freeze the time. And uh, what he did that he tried to select something that he can measure at this specific moment. And uh, when the time came that the, the, the shadow is the same as the, the height of the, um, of the stick that he put it on the ground, at the same time, he started to measure. So, from here, I can say there is a couple of uh, yeah interesting things that he didn't uh, discuss. What is the thing? He didn't discuss what is the stick or what is the pyramid. This is not uh, the discussion. The main thing is this uh, this height. How to access this one? And what he was uh, measuring is just the shadows, not the object itself. And the reference point is um, is a, is, a, is a stable point, and it's a, a transcendental point. And the, of course, this term of transcendental, you can look at it with different points of view. But for me, it's not uh, it's not a reference point implicit within the ground. And it's not a reference point implicit within the, the, the pyramid. He chose an outside uh, reference point. And um, so we, we can use the same, the, the same uh, three or four uh, um, elements. The ground, what is the ground? And the ground is the same. There is no uh, difference between this uh, topography of this uh, of this ground or the topography of this ground. He used the same the same ground. So you you need to think about the ground and the shadows, which will you measure. A reference point and this reference point uh, can be transcendental or can be 
uh, implicit, but in this example was a transcendental. And uh, a frozen moment that you are sure that when you will start to measure these two things, they have, they have the same uh, context factors. This, it's, it's not that you measure this in, in, in one moment and this is in a different time. And the, the, the feature engineering is, 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 is really, from, from my point of view, it's something similar, especially if we are architects, we, uh, we are dealing with these uh, ideas of, um, of geometry and the context and, um, and, we have a, and we have a lot of, uh, of referencing points already, we know it, and we can rely on this. Uh, so the, the process of feature engineering is mainly how to select and to transform some of the data variables. So I can say that this is the main, it's how you can able to do this. And the, the, the main idea is how to end with a better highlighting of the variable representation. So in this example that we will start, you have a kind of, uh, sorry, I, I will start with this one. Yeah, this one, okay. So now we have this kind of um, of uh, urban fabric. This was one of the of the files of uh, of you, I think, uh, for Flip. And uh, the idea that uh, they have different shapes. It's like the the, the the difference between the between the stick and the pyramid. So they are they, they have different um, um, shapes at the end and the, uh, different. Um, um, uh, elements and components it's, it's it's not the same it's not it's not uh, the same idea that we tried last time when we made this sum and this nonlinear morph that all of the models has the same uh, number of components and the same uh, number of uh, sub elements of vertices so this was uh, um, was very clear but now we have a different uh, problem that we have elements Every one of these elements has different amount of um, of orientations and uh, and uh, and the counting of elements. So uh, I remember the last time the, with with Philippe was thinking about the idea of uh, to to measure the um, how many crossroads he selected this uh, this in his uh, feature um, table, <clears throat> and we will talk mainly on one feature. You can add a lot. But today we will just tackle one idea, and this idea is uh, is that uh, the 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 number of crossroads, uh, if he is able uh, to count it, uh, maybe he can get a kind of a point of view uh, about the density uh, of this uh, intersection of this uh, of these um, roads, and definitely this kind of uh, example is. It can can be used with urban fabric or or even with the design sketches for for anything. So, but now we are thinking with the with the idea um, that that this is urban fabric. Of course, it has a lot of elements, um, not only roads, roads, maybe green areas, maybe in, uh, maybe buildings, uh, human. There, there is a lot of there is a lot of um, things that. Uh, you can you can uh, tackle but to do it for today this um, the, the, the counting of intersection is is an interesting feature we can choose so how can we we can of course we, we can of course just account uh, uh, for each of these elements how many uh, intersections let's say one two three four five you, you can count it but this is not enough because the distribution of this uh, counting, uh, within the whole patch of this urban fabric is uh, is different from one um, from one to another. So how how to do this? So these are kind of a couple of uh, main main uh, uh, main uh, methods that you can think about it that you need it in order to uh, transform these kind of variables and try to highlight uh, this variable representation. So maybe you need to filter. 
you you try to uh, if if you um, from within your domain knowledge maybe you are able to filter the useless data which can be uh, make a kind of a noise for your data later if you if you already have this uh, knowledge uh, projection is uh, the, is the same the same idea so maybe um, you have um, if you remember last time one of the the, the projects was um, how to correlate the the noise or the lights with the internal uh, this um, uh, with the internal um, measurements uh, of uh, light and noise uh, within a floor plan and uh, with this we started to think about um, something a similar idea to this uh, projection that you need an, an element maybe outside this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this floor plan and you try to to find a way to to project um, um, it's the, this element and the correlate it with a kind of a quant quantity that you can use it uh, later uh, orientation so it's important that the both element all of the elements that you have uh, have the same the same orientation so think about it that we with with this idea of uh, with uh, with Thales. it's uh, it's uh, the, this stick has the same orientation like the height that you want to uh, to measure it's not that uh, this uh, this this stick is uh, is tilted in a different direction so you have to to be sure of this and you sure from from the from the ground that they have the same so how, how with orientation and projection and filtering so so for for instance so um if we if we will try to uh, to look at at this think about it like the the face of a human if you wanted to measure the faces of humans so it's uh, definitely you you need to uh, to measure uh, uh, an element has the same uh, orientation between um, no way that you that you you put the eyes in in one of the the faces let's say up and uh, on the next time you put it down so it's, uh, no way to to measure so how to be sure that uh, the the orientation of the whole uh, element is almost the same or maybe of course the, your discussion is not the whole element maybe your discussion is the sub elements also you will uh, need to be sure of this or orientation of the sub elements if these sub elements are like this uh, nose and uh, eyes and so on you, you try to find a kind of um, a way to look at this orientation uh, similar to each other uh, within the idea of Im image detection, you can you can try it even with the, with cameras or uh, with your phone. It's uh, if someone is uh, upside down, the, the, the camera cannot uh, cannot detect this uh, these faces. So it's uh, this idea uh, is uh, is important in, in 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 how you develop this. Uh, correlate variables and uh, uh, splitting it so. How to correlate? How to correlate? Uh, let's say here the the dist the the counting of this uh, urban fabric and the position of them. How how to correlate these two numbers together? How to correlate? Uh, let's say the the position of the the an entrance. How to correlate the position of entrance? Yeah, with the um, with the floor plan. So if you want to correlate them, how you can describe this at, and at the same time you describe this. So for just a, an example, so you can choose uh, to read this element like what we did before, like length and width or uh, from this uh, centroids. So the, this is the centroid of the whole. So you can measure the uh, distances for, for all of this, um, for this object from this, from this point, the X and Y. But you can also choose different way. What if all of the this uh, we can describe it from from one point? So this means that you need to correlate. You 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 build this kind of features that you have these features, and sorry, 
you have this length and this length. So, and also maybe on the other direction. So you have this and you have this. So describing the same, the, 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 the whole idea, the whole phenomenon uh, about the position of this uh, element, the position of this element, you can change it, but at the same time, you describe two things at the same at the same moment. At the same moment, I, I describe the dimension of the element and the dimension, let's say, of the whole. So how how to do this uh, the, 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 this kind of correlation? You can you can think about it within uh, within your within your uh, already your architectural uh, knowledge. So here we need to think how to uh, correlate this uh, distribution of these uh, elements. Um, position within the whole uh, patch. Uh, you need to, to, to think about the domain knowledge. You need to respect, but and and also thinking about the not to be uh, biased to this uh, domain knowledge. So it's it's you need to respect, but uh, you need to um, um, use some features, make it stable. With the, within the domain knowledge and put others flexible to navigate uh, and get um, maybe unpredictable uh, ideas. Uh, statistical features, we can uh, look at this the balance between the global and local uh, feature distribution, local and global. Think about it like uh, the, um, the example that I give it you know, now with this. Uh, with this. So how to think about a local feature within a global element? How to correlate both? And you can you can you can think about this with 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 with, with all of the elements instead of describe this alone and this alone. So for today, <clears throat> you have three uh, th three files. The we will use this street intersection as images. So let's start from this one. So I will describe it and uh, there is some clusters. You can open it and navigate within it if you need to ask about something and you know, ask later. So the, the uh, here I just, I saved the, the, the lines, internalized it from Rhino, so it's saved. This one is just to uh, cluster the curves and the streets because here it was was just lines. It's not cluster. You don't know which of these lines belong to to an element. So you can look at this. How I uh, was able to uh, detect uh, all of the uh, intersected lines uh, to be one element, and then you uh, make a kind of a bounding uh, box for this. You can you can uh, look at this, uh, okay, at this one. So you, uh, so here you can, this is the idea. You have a kind of a bounding uh, object. You can start to uh, make a, a Booleans or, or in any idea. I, I of course, all of these uh, ideas is, uh, negotiable and maybe you are able to do something better than what I did. Okay, so this is just to cluster the intersected lines and build one. So, and this, I think it's easy like, okay. And this one, this is just the, the outline I tried here to make one uh, frame for each of these patches. Then uh, here I thought about idea that uh, uh, think about what is the orient the whole orientation of this uh, object. So I suggested an idea that um, that let's say each of these 
each of these uh, lines, I will split it into like four quarters in the beginning and uh, try to build um, a correlation of the whole rotation with the density of these intersections. So here, within this cluster, if you open it, you will find um, yeah, some basic components of Grasshopper like this one, which uh, build a, an intersection um, of multiple curves. And this kind of intersection, this is just a to delete duplicated points. And here I used this uh, plane mesh to uh, to build this kind of uh, this kind of uh, subspaces, and within this I started to think about uh, the idea: what if the the rotation of these patches uh, will be related to uh, the density of this uh, road intersection within the whole uh, image? Then uh, you this is just to explode to get four. Uh, for um, polygons. And this is to uh, get uh, which of these points belong to uh, which of these curves. So you can uh, use this one. You The input is the curves and the point, and it gives you the index of uh, each of these um, one. So I think if I'm not sure which of these is the fairest one. So let's say three explodes just to check which. Okay, maybe this is the first one. Okay. And each of these has, uh, this is the the explode of the four meshes. Just to check. This is the list item. So this is the first patch, second, third, fourth. And of course, if you choose another patch, it's the same. The same order. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, I just started to uh, to, to try to find uh, and uh, and count how many uh, in each of these uh, elements. So, how many ones? How many three? How many zeros for each of these? And you can check this part later. And then at the end, the result is. The first image has four parts. So this is one, maybe uh, has three, this is has one, and this has three. Okay. So this is also can be used a kind of uh, um, a vector. Um, okay. But I used it not to do this. It's to build a kind of um, kind of a main uh, rotation for all of these elements, and the idea is to uh, reorient them according to the how many of these uh, uh, crossroads are distributed within uh, these four patches. So with this, I selected let's say a kind of a, a centroid and uh, two in each of these uh, elements. The highest two um, points of distribution. I use them to change this kind of rotation. So we'll find, let's say, uh, these two. This is a higher distribution on, let's say, on the right, and this is the the higher distribution also on the right side. So, so this part is like that. You you build a kind of a compass, a main compass to rotate the image to start. Otherwise, uh, all, all of these, uh, all of your measurements will be 
uh, a lot in, in, in different orientation. And the, the, and the same idea, I can I use it later, but not for rotation, just to, uh, to, to build this kind of uh, a feature vector of, uh, of the same idea. You can add uh, many of these, uh, you can change the, the image resolution that you would like to, to measure. And here also, it's the same cluster, nothing new. <clears throat> I just started to, to read the, the, this one. After making this rotation, say 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, and so on. So you can change this resolution. But I think within the amount of the data, I just I choose, yeah, let's say, only four. So I count how many of the crossroads in each of these um, uh, subspaces. OK. And, and this is the feature vector. And this part is, all, is also the same, but I uh, try to, to make something like uh, a random. So I found this component in Grasshopper. It's uh, called sub straight. And uh, this can uh, build kind of um, uh, intersected lines. I don't know actually the, this algorithm, how it's built, but for me, it's like the idea of random points or random lines. And you can change and you can choose these elements, uh, the count uh, and the, uh, the how many of these um, random rotations uh, of this fabric. And uh, yeah, with the seeds, you can change this one. And the main idea is, how, so let's say I have a new urban fabric, a new crossroads, a new design of uh, sketch. And I would like to, to see uh, this thing according to its intersection, what is the nearest within this few amount of elements. So here you have the same, the same idea. Uh, I try to uh, reorient it. So maybe its uh, rotation is different. So maybe this is its rotation. But also I use the same, um, the same uh, compass to it. So it's, uh, it's like the, for me, it's the same, the same moment that you will use it here. It's the same on the, on the other. And so the same rotation. And also the uh, the same idea of uh, how to uh, select uh, this uh, the counting for each of these patches, and then you start to reorient it, and then uh, of course it should be the same um, um, uh, the same image resolution should be the same image resolution of this one. So of course you can put both of these sliders similar so whenever you change your feature vector of these elements should be the same for the other one and of course if you change the resolution this will maybe change a little bit of uh, how you uh, navigate within your data and um, okay so so let's say uh, four is enough for this few amount of elements And then here I just use this uh, KNN, the same algorithm that we used before. And here decide according to, to this neighbor, it select and tells you what is the uh, index of the nearest uh, of the nearest element. Of course, it's uh, it's, it's not the the, the same uh, elements. Um, the, the 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 this kind of this kind of um, this kind of uh, urban fabric. Is um, is endless uh, varieties, but what you are looking now is if I let's say change the the density and uh, let's say this kind of rotations, it tells you yeah according to what we have in, within these elements yeah this one is the nearest according to this um, fabric. So whenever you change. So look at this. So here, all of these are 
uh, few amount of intersections. And on this part, there is a higher density. So let's say it selects almost yeah, the same, uh, the same uh, overall features. And if you started to change this, it starts to tell you, yeah, according to this amount of intersection, what is the nearest? Yeah, and this is just to uh, to move these objects, yeah, within a kind of uh, private canvas. So uh, this is one of the, the ideas that we need to uh, to measure within each of these patches only the crossroads, but you can add more. So let's say if 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 you uh, let's say connected this kind of uh, urban fabric to um, say a GIS uh, software, you are able to uh, get a kind of um, other uh, features that you can measure it within each of these patches. So let's say some of these patches has green areas, maybe residential, the height of buildings, I don't know what, uh, the type of the, how the this building is built, you can, you can think about other features, but all of these features should be measured. Firstly, all of them has the same orientation. So you, you have a kind of a, a specific uh, position. It's not like that you, 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 you will measure the faces of, the, of, uh, of, of, of humans and uh, everyone has different kind of rotation. So it's like a, cal a calibration within the data. And within this calibration, you, uh, uh, you will uh, choose a kind of a sub uh, space and measure uh, the a kind of a quantity uh, for each of these subspaces. So, okay, so th this is one of the ideas. Uh, we can go to, uh, sorry, streets to image to streets. Yeah, okay, this one. Streets to images to streets. Here is different idea <clears throat> about looking at uh, this. I only here used only one urban fabric, and we will discuss um, discuss it like this. Okay, so you have the urban patch. You have a kind of a bounding box. You have the face, just to get this face. You can build a kind of a lot of uh, measurement points, okay? But it's it's not like that you subdivide into sub, sub uh, phases or sub uh, regions. Now you will uh, build the kind of uh, some sensors within this space. And uh, each of these points will uh, measure uh, or uh, give you a kind of a shadow of a specific question. So the specific question is, let's say, what is the nearest, what is the nearest road to this point? So this is a, a very simple, basic idea for this, for this uh, example of crossroads. So you have, you have the, uh, um, these lines, I just I built this uh, this as a mesh, and used this component to uh, uh, measure the nearest point. Each of these points, try to find the nearest of this mesh. There's several ideas of this uh, reading the closest point uh, of a curve, of a mesh, of a B-rib. But the, the, the interesting thing with the mesh is that uh, you can um, join the, them uh, and deal with the whole urban fabric as a one element. And this is one of the interesting things that you can find it within, uh, within meshes, but you cannot find it within, uh, within lines or curves. And with this, you start to build this. So here is, the, and now I am, I am not looking at the, the roads. I am looking at the shadows of my question 
to each of these points in space. From my point of view, I think like the, the, that they are like observers. That these observers within the space, everyone only can uh, give you um, give you a kind of a perspective about what is this space from uh, from this uh, from its position, and it can uh, answer uh, um, uh, some answers according to your question. So the question now is, what is the nearest road to this? And with this, you can build these lines and everyone uh, can tell you this is the length of these lines every every point has a kind of uh, an answer that uh, yeah the, say the first point the nearest road to it is 2.6 uh, meter and it's different from it every of these positions and some of them are very close to the roads And here, just to, to build this, uh, this image, so I reconstructed a mesh. So it's um, what I did here. I moved these points in this Z elevation according to uh, their uh, length uh, or the, their distance to the nearest uh road and build this mesh and build this kind of uh, of coloring so it's not about color now it's just uh, this is just a tool to give you a kind of a uh, a different uh, embodiment of the crossroads so now it's not the crossroads uh, it's like that now i i built uh, i i projected these crossroads on a different space and within the different space gives me maybe different kind of um, um, uh, of ideas how to correlate uh, the points within this space uh, so this is just for coloring if you want to see so if you change this you will find this kind of detection And this is another idea. Okay, what if I am interested not with the length, not with the length, how much? I am interested with the uh, with the answer of the the orientation. So each of these points tells you the orientation about the nearest road. So it it can't explicitly tells you the fabric of your patch, but it only tells you a small answer about. Uh, uh, the nearest uh, subspace. So with this, you can uh, here it change. This is a vector component called vector. Okay, and uh, each of these li uh, segment lines can be transferred as a vector. So this is the vector. Okay, and this vector can be uh, unitized or not non-unitized with unitized this means that you are not looking on the uh, on the on the, the magnitude you can uh, kind of uh, standardize the, the the vector and uh, or normalize the vector and you just uh, change you this is just a preview uh, as a colors so now it's uh, this is a kind of uh, a colors that describe the rotations um for the nearest road for each of these sub elements so this is a different kind of expression and different kind of embodiment that within this space maybe you can find the different kind of correlation to your problem okay but now i i, I started to think what if we just look at this and this is enough this can um describe the the skeleton of the of this element and then with this uh, you will find here the idea okay now i started to project an element on a on a space to find a kind of a uh, uh, maybe correlations within this space and we will find what is these correlations later and then how can we reconstruct what if you have this element 
and you need to get this back again. So also think about this idea that if you are able to project something on another space, so let's say I, I will deal with, with my problem as uh, the idea of, these, uh, of, of these colors of the, or the rotation of these vectors, but how can you return back uh, to the to, to a similar uh, object like what we started how to get back to this so here i reconstructed it but it's not exactly the same because of course it depends on on on, on the resolution of this of this uh, mesh or this image so the higher resolution gives me of course uh, ability to uh, to find uh, almost the similar the similar elements so if you looked at this okay so not exactly but if you change the the resolution let's say it takes time still loading This uh, this is similar to the idea of images of pixels. So, what if you looked at the resolution of an image of this urban fabric by uh, two two hundred pixel by two hundred pixel, which uh, uh, gives you higher resolution than what I I had. So now this is much more better. And actually, if you looked at the, this is the, this is the main output, actually. This one, this is just a two simple, I try to simplify the curve to make it uh, just with a, a lower amount of uh, vertices because with the, with the higher image, it gives um, a lot of, of these points. Okay. For our uh, trial now, so let's say 50 was was almost enough to get a kind of a, a similar, um, a, a, to reconstruct the similar fabric again after projected on, on, on another space. So here, uh, this is the idea and take care, it's uh, maybe different than, than, than this one. With this, you projected the shadow, but it's harder to reconstruct the element from the shadows. Within what we are doing that, no, we will project to make some measurements or uh, uh, reading the similarities between the between this feature. Let's say the feature is not the shape. The feature is, the, is just the height. And, um, and then what if we are able to reconstruct it again? It's, uh, it depends, of course, on the problem. So from this example, go to the last one with this sum of uncertain streets. So you will find here this is a kind of a sum. Okay, you, we have this just few urban fabric patches. And now we try to find a kind of what is uh, similar between each of these elements and uh, think about how can we generate in between. And the, 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 the idea of this degeneration in the last, in the last uh, lecture was easier because the, the, these buildings uh, has each one, uh, the, 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 all of these buildings have the, the same amount of uh, elements and vertices. So they have the same cons, um, structure. But now we, uh, we have a different kind of structure. How to generate from this, to this. 
how to find something in between if, if these are similar how to generate other crossroads this is of course it's it's not a, a certain crossroads and the correct crossroads but it's um, uh, just to find of um, a kind of um, insight about what is uh, what is um, uh, similar so with this idea uh, so i started here also this is the same you have the inputs of this uh, polyline which is this i just clustered it so each of these elements are uh, clustered and um, here I use the same idea of reading. If you looked at this, okay, reading the the nearest points, and the resolution is this fifty. Okay, and here I moved from this to the training of some so here i didn't i still i didn't reconstruct it i just i need to get a feature vector of not of these lines as a lines i need the let's say the the length or the orientation it's a, it depends on what what you would like to do so now let's say this is with the with the vector so i get a vector this is a point to numbers or vector to numbers. And then I started to uh, construct, um, maybe this is, uh, um, yeah, yeah, it takes time to preview uh, this feature vector. I think this feature vector is 5,000 uh, feature vector. And then we started to build some. Uh, let's say the iteration is 12, the inputs are uh, this uh, 10 uh, feature vector, uh, uh, 10 uh, vectors with the 5,000 features. And this is the, the grid of some. Okay. Then I started to uh, reconstruct it again. So so let's see what is the okay so here i am able to reconstruct it again because i know the uh, i i trained the whole image again with these lines as a vectors so the vectors can be read as a as a as a colors or as a lines and then with this, I started to build these meshes, the same ideas. And then from these uh, meshes, I start to uh, reconstruct it again. Uh, this is the same like uh, the previous one, but of course it will take uh, maybe one minute to, uh, yeah, to finish because they are a lot. Here, what I you see only is the this uh, idea of winners within the song. So from here, you can uh, start to find si a kind of uh, some of these similarities between elements. But what is in between? If you would like to find something in between, then you can enable. So maybe one minute and yeah, I'll get back to you. Now we we finished this, so let's look at this, and we can. Uh, okay, so here is if you would like to see the uh, these winners, you can get. Okay, so if you looked at this, it maybe it tries to remove some and start to generate of uh, some of these rows and subspaces. Of course, some of these in-betweens are useless and some of them are, yeah, can be seen as, as correct. 
So you can look here between, I think th this is almost successful idea. So here you have these kind of crossroads. Some of these crossroads started to be removed and then started to be built this one and then it started to be built like this. So from here to here. So if you looked at this transformation of these images, yeah, you can find this, uh, this idea here, maybe the same. So let's go from something complex between these two. You can look from this one to this, to this here started to, some parts are removed. Here, the same construction almost and started to increase some of these maybe they are not connected then they started to be connected um, okay so and, and 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 this is the idea if you are if, if you would like to uh, uh, to project to unfold and fold to uh, deconstruct uh, elements and projected to measure some uh, some features, then you start to reconstruct it again. And of course, the um, all of this is only uh, only with the one feature, which is the just the, the, the crossroads. We didn't uh, add uh, other kind of uh, uh, semantics for each of these patches. And uh, maybe each of these patches need, uh, yeah, different kind of uh, projection. So let's say if you if you would like to to describe something related to uh, to humans, let's say within this urban fabric, you should like to think about, I don't know, what is uh, what is culture like Veronica question so uh, what is culture so how how can you how can you uh, how can you describe this within um, within each of these uh, of this urban fabric how to correlate these patches so I just give you some yeah, some some questions uh, so let's say uh, some of these uh, of this urban fabric, let's say this is maybe in London, maybe this is in uh, in Zurich. But if you would, if you forget uh, these uh, these roads, don't think about the roads. So think about that uh, these positions um, has different cultures. So maybe uh, some um, some text, um, um, and maybe it's understandable in in some uh, pos uh, some places and not understandable in other places so, someone has a, a an eye of a needle eye of a needle as as a word is uh, uh, doesn't uh, express anything in some cultures but in in other cultures they will understand what is the eye of a needle it's not the narrow minded or a narrow point of view so so it's it's important that um, what you will try to select try to find the final reference point because if you quickly went to, let's say, words or crossroads or any of these, you, you, you are um, just wasting your time because you still couldn't catch this uh, complexity. Um, so, and, and, and this, is the, this is one of the, uh, the ideas that I said that here, uh, the domain knowledge, uh, with it, try to res to uh, to respect some some features. It's like you are the one, you are the human who deve who uh, who uh, developed this, so you understand the the difference of meaning. So you have to think about uh, split uh, the let's say these uh, these things before training because the the machines are too too neutral. To all of these uh, features, and uh, maybe within this uh, domain knowledge, you can get some anchor points for your training. Then you uh, use uh, some statistical features, uh, which gives you kind of a flexibility to correlate uh, your elements. Okay, 
So from here, I finished the first part. The second part is your project, but before going to your projects, if you have any question about what we just navigated quickly today. Um, so, yeah. You can find this cluster. Um, I have one, um, just a, a quick question. The, um, mm. you, you just use the, um, um, what's the name of the component? Substract. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, just to, to simulate different, um, it's here just to simulate some, some different, um, let's say new, yeah. Open fabrics, right? It has right. no no meaning in your. In your... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because I used this component before, and it's it's really very limited. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a. Um, it's... Yeah. I just I I, I try to to uh, to to focus on something. Now we are uh, looking for uh, with this machine to measure the intersection of lines. In my understanding now, yeah, I know as a human, I know that these describe roads. So then I, you have to, to find the, uh, maybe uh, other features that, uh, that. Um... Yeah, so let's say in real life, uh -huh. um, um, can, can I use, for example, um, open street maps and uh, elk, for yes. example? Yes, okay. yes, definitely, yes. You can, you can. Uh, choose uh, something to navigate within uh, within google or within open street maps anything within open street maps all of this is a, is a vector shape so of course it works well with this uh, with this example and all of what we are doing now is only one one feature mainly let's say to mainly one reference is the intersection of crossroads and then we started to tackle yeah, where is this intersection but uh, the urban fabric is not only a crossroads. This is um, so. What, what I'm what I'm doing is just focusing on one feature vector uh, and navigate with um, with it. I, I also have a very specific <laughs> yeah. question. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking about our last discussion and what is culture in urban fabric and. Um, mm. Mm, I mean, I think this is a different question from the, the one that we started with, which was um, how can we extract this culture from the architecture itself? Uh, and I, I'm still, I, I still think that they connect somehow, but it's not super clear yet in my head. But um, today, for example, in this lecture today, uh, and the, the inspiration that you, you gave me from this lecture today, mm -hmm. I was uh, thinking a lot about James Jacobs' um, theory about the street and how can we evaluate, let's say, let's say uh, James Jacob index mm -hmm. of streets and, and how the streets are used uh, as a public space and this kind of things. And immediately I was thinking about the, the eyes of the street, which is like the, the most, let's say, basic um, thing that uh, Jen Jacobs says. And, but I remember that um, in some cultures, there's the, this notion of eye of the streets, not good. Let's say in Arab, um, Arab um, streets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The architecture, it's 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 turned to, to the inside. It's not this. This is not uh, an issue. All this public um, happens in the other parts of the street that are not related to the eye. Mm -hmm. So, um, since you, <laughs> this uh, specific person come from this kind of culture, mm -hmm. how how can I? How could I address this eye of the street? Um, okay. So uh, as a not so, important thing. Uh, okay, I mean, so firstly, uh, let's just, uh, uh, freeze a moment, select a moment in history, moment in time. This is the first thing, because uh, in in the past, the the this uh, this the, the architectural uh, expression was uh, correlated uh, before uh, 
before we all of the world go into this kind of unity, all of this kind of um, uh, secular, secular idea that uh, everything is just like these facades and all of us use the same uh, idea of, of construction and, uh, and art. And uh, so nowadays is, is totally different. So firstly, you have, you, 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 you have to think about uh, where this point in, in, and what is the time that you uh, would, would like to choose to read anything about the culture or about the similarities between these um, cultures. So the moment is important because if you selected the current moment, you have to put into your mind that let's say within the last maybe 100 or 150 years, there is a lot of transformations happened that uh, demolished a lot of the, um, the, 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 the main culture thing. So now I can say that uh, there is a lot of, um, in the last, say, 200 years, there is a lot of uh, places you can find it in, in, say, in Egypt. It's similar to Europe, part of Europe. There is a, a lot of places like this. But if you went to, uh, yeah, earlier, you will find different kind of fabric and different kind of expression, different kind of eyes. Uh, for only for this idea about the, the privacy and the, the, the no, I, I, I can say no, it's just um, we, the, 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 inter, the internal eye of, um, of a human inside the, the Arabian home, uh, it tried to, 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 to find a kind of a privacy and, and, uh, and split it from the outside. And this uh, expressible in, 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 in some architectures related to the proportions of, um, of this, um, of let's say windows, uh, also related to the, it's uh, correlated with the, with the weather. It's uh, we, with the weather is different. Uh, you can find many things. I, I will give you another example about the behavior of people in the streets. If you, if you are in, 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 a, in a cold area, in uh, in Russia or uh, or in Europe in um, the higher part sitting on the ground sitting just sitting on the ground and look looking it's uh, it's not uh, it's not familiar because maybe 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 because the weather is cold the, the ground is cold <laughs> and uh, you you cannot sit on the ground for for a long time but in the let's say on the on the hot area you will find something different. You'll find that, yeah, you can sit on the, maybe on the, on the grounds and to try to make a kind of a shadows and, and, uh, and uh, these things. And um, uh, so I, I, so just wanted to, to give you kind of a couple of features put into your mind. What's the time and the weather? <laughs> And uh, yeah, these things. If you, because you cannot split the humans only with uh, with the capture of uh, some images, and you uh, judge this eye because you know yeah uh, what you said about uh, the, pri the, the 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 needing of the privacy in, in the Arabian world. It's uh, yeah it's something important, but it's not only this. It's uh, correlated with uh, with different. Uh, with different uh, aspects. Yeah, that's that's why I was asking you because it's um, this is what um, pops out from the surface. Mm -hmm. But what's what's beneath it? Because when we discuss only with images, mm -hmm. you have to develop somehow a sensibility to go beyond the image. Otherwise, you're just going to to scratch the surface and make it like a huge. <laughs> theory about the surface yeah, and, that, and it's not a, going to, to work. Yeah, that's why you, you need to, uh, to balance between uh, these quantitative measurements and uh, try to find a qualitative uh, measurement. Maybe, maybe you need to uh, read a little bit about the sociology uh, because within, with, the, with the sociology, uh, you will find different kind of uh, what is the phenomenon of a human as, um, as a human, not as uh, something uh, uh, very similar to anything in the environment. So maybe you can you can measure, let's say, the ants 
from outside and uh, and you measure their movements but you can do uh, the same thing with the conscious be being like uh, like humans so i think that you need to uh, um, uh, go to find some insights within other uh, scientific domain like sociology kind of using that and, and the thing that you That's said good. about the eye and the time mm -hmm. the eye the time and the weather yeah uh, this is this is uh very very interesting of course the weather is is very mm -hmm. uh let's say can define the culture uh very much this is Nietzsche speaking let's say <laughs> <laughs> many many philosophers speak yeah. the, the last um, thing if, if you think about the human also think about the transcendental references because that's it's that's uh, spiny. you know that that's a spine <laughs> yeah yeah it's, uh, from my point of view it's, it's <laughs> essential because uh, if you removed uh, these uh, transcendental uh, ideas and you think that the human is just only a materialistic thing and then you, you then you have different kind of discussion and uh, but in in our culture this idea of a, um, that we are connected to a transcendental thing it's it's something uh, yeah it's just something something important so you cannot remove it because the, the question is before everything what is human so here what is roads before I uh, uh, try to, to start. So now I know that the roads, is, it's not only roads, it's roads, it's, uh, there is a context around, around the roads that gives the roads uh, maybe um, a spirit. Uh, but now I know that uh, I say that within this study and this experiment that we do, we will neglect all of the contextual uh, features and we will only focus on, on, on one thing. But this will not give you... Um, uh, a full perspective about what it is the roads, because now we are doing um, um, a, sci a scientific um, uh, quantification measurements where everything is the same. So within this interface, I can put the 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 the, the face of a, of a human, and I I will deal with the face of the human like the roads. And when this is of course in the real life, as you say, it's a uh, it's nonsense that you uh, deal with all of the, all of these things are similar. So you have to uh, to highlight the context of your um, of your experiments. Um, um, the last thing, otherwise I'm going to monopolize the whole thing, and I, of course I don't want that. Uh, but do you do you feel that uh, um, a way out? Uh, because I mean, to discuss the transcendental is it's I think it's not possible in a futurized uh, uh, way. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can I can include features of uh, culture features, let's say. Mm -hmm. I, can I can include the face, I can include dance, I can include food, I can include uh, uh, fashion and, you know, these kind of things I, I can include. Do you think this is a, a way to address this human part without discussing the being and the time, the being and, you know, this, this yeah. Heidegger? Yeah, so, so I, I, I'm sure that what you are uh, talking about it now, so let's say <clears throat> you will talk about the let's say the, the 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 fashion. You said the fashion, okay? If if you went to do this uh, our Arabian world, you will find all of all of the fashions of the whole world. You can find it in in our places from yeah people that uh, they uh, wear hijab or or a scarf, and uh, with with the different uh, references. Some some sometimes it's just an implicit reference, implicit reference because the community tells the. The, the, the some humans that you have to uh, wear this hijab but it's not a transcendental reference and then you can find the others that just mimic uh, a fashion style that happens just yesterday because it's uh, because it's something outside it's a reference outside our culture but it's uh, somehow within the history it's now it's uh, it affects this so how you can describe how you how, how can you measure the uh, some people be, be because of their fashion and their fashion without 
thinking what is the reference and the final reference of this fashion at this specific moment. If you went back since uh, maybe 200 years, you will not find that we are uh, affected with the, with the whole world like this. Nowadays, uh, it's uh, the idea of transfer. And sometimes I think that the, how you are modern, if you are modern, then you can change your values a lot and, uh, and, uh, and quickly. If the whole if the whole world would want to you to wear uh, some uh, some styles, so now you, you you shift easily nowadays. But yeah, now we went to <laughs> yeah maybe another thing with within geometry. The easiest thing with geometry, if you have a specific thing with geometry, uh, it's a, a neutral thing with uh, geometry and algebra. It's. Uh, Mohammed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just thank you. Um, uh, otherwise, we're <laughs> going to stay here for like two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was hoping we can discuss it a little bit further. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's say at the end of the week, so I, I have some time to process. Yeah, okay. And of course, uh, uh, the, the your questions is something uh, um, actually has some benefits within the course because it's important that uh, uh, we as an architects, when we leave uh, this kind of course, we get some, um, some ideas about uh, a mechanism and tools and how this works, but we have to be conscious about uh, what we will uh, use these kind of things to uh, navigate and build a floor plan or navigate on online to get uh, some of these things. We just we try to highlight some of the complexities uh, that is, uh, um, yeah, we have to think how to featureize it. Maybe in some basic problems. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> in, in, in some, yeah. And uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a why still uh, architecture is still uh, something uh, rely on human and experience. And even nowadays, yeah, you find these things is, is online and on the market, but when you go to the, to, to the, to the office space and you see architects start to, <laughs> to, to think uh, he has to face this kind of uh, ideas. It's, uh, it's essential. Yeah, but it's, it's easier to, to address it in like a um, free way, let's say. Yeah. Uh, I have my feel, I, I, I'm an inside of culture, of course. Yeah. And I, when I don't have to, to put it in words or, or in, in features, let's say in, in, in numbers, Mm -hmm. It's easier to, to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we just do it because we kind of internalize it somehow. Yes. To yes. feature it. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, when you continually ask me, uh, what's a human? It's mm. impossible for me to. I, I don't know if you ask me, who is Ver what is Veronica? I wouldn't. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, yeah, yeah. In some in some cultures, so how can I featureize it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I tell you something. Sometimes in, in in some cultures, if you ask it someone about what, what, who who are you, he tells you some some things about his grandfathers. Because yes. because it's something in his culture. It's something he cannot separate it from himself. Okay. So uh, yeah, the time passed. Uh, if you have any question about uh, about your project or. Uh, I don't know about the today. Yeah, just ask. <laughs>